channel and welcome back to another video how is everyone doing guys today i woke up feeling so much better it's been like days now since uh, i've been fighting off this throat infection my covid results came in yesterday and covid is negative like no covid detected so i'm usually really good at answering back to most of the comments and sometimes even all of them um but on my past few videos like I have just not had the energy or anything to go back and reply so I'm so sorry if I have not replied to your comments totally reading them but it's I've just been feeling like crap lately I'm sorry and looking at the screen for too long gives me like headaches that's why I haven't answered to your comments but hopefully you're watching this video and I just want you to know <laughs> that I appreciate all of your guys suggestions your wishes to getting well and all of your information and just stuff like that like I really really appreciate you guys taking the time of your day to go ahead and comment in my videos but like I said I'm really sorry if I haven't responded it's just that I've today's literally the first day I wake up feeling so good like I still have an infection in my throat and I haven't gotten back those results um but uh like a today's the first day in days that I actually woke up feeling motivated to get up and do stuff. I've literally been spending all of my time in bed just resting, staying away from Valerie. So it's really sucked, but like I said today, I feel so much better. And again, thank you guys so much for all of your comments. Like I love you guys so much and I appreciate you guys. Like you can't imagine like y the appreciation I have for each and every single one of you who comments and just leaves so much support and suggestions and your help and everything my nurses out there and i appreciate you guys like you guys are amazing you're incredible thank you so much for the uplift and all of that i just want you guys to know that your comments are not being unseen i'm totally reading them it's just that i i haven't been like able to get on there and reply you know and then if i reply to one i feel bad for not replying to everyone and yeah i just hate feeling like I leave anybody out you know and I don't do it intentionally in case you guys ever feel like that so I wanted to let you guys know that so today like I said I woke up feeling so good I literally jumped in the shower and I like scrubbed like I took my time and I scrubbed everywhere and I put the water on really hot and I just like inhale help my throat out a little bit okay for the COVID results I did take the lab one because I know somebody mentioned in my sick video that uh it's good it's better to t take the pcr or pcp one i can't remember it's pc something uh but basically it's the one that they sent to the lab and they like go through it like th thoroughly like deeper and that is the one that i took and it came back negative so i was relieved when i read your comment and then looked at the one that i took and it is the one that i took um so yeah it w it's not the rapid one which is why uh my results came in yesterday but it came back negative thank god okay so now i'm just waiting for the strep one but either way like my throat feels so much better i'm 100 100 sure it's strep that's how i get strep it'll be like really bad for like the first couple days but then it starts to die down like you know so i feel like maybe in the next few days maybe three it'll probably be already cleared out like it already doesn't hurt much to swallow and when i turn i don't feel my tonsil all swollen anymore uh it doesn't bother me or it's not in my way so that's like all good and um i feel like the antibiotics haven't really been doing anything for me i feel like what has been doing really really good for me is the advil which is the liquid gel ones as long as i keep taking these i feel good the ones that they prescribed to me the ibuprofen and by the way guys a lot of you guys were like the ibuprofen that you were prescribed is the same thing as the over-counter one except this one's just like a straight just 800 one um thank you for clearing that out okay i guess uh i guess i was just like i don't know i feel like when a doctor pre prescribes you something it's like the real deal type of thing i don't know non-generic but 
it's, it's the same thing okay so uh, same thing but it hasn't been doing anything to me like I'll take it and then I still feel the same like it doesn't take away any pain or make it less so I stopped taking that and I continue to take the Advil liquid gels and literally as long as I keep taking these my throat isn't in pain uh, so yeah that's that's good but now it's like I woke up today and it's like less less pain still infected but um, less pain my wisdom tooth has also been doing really good it's gonna take some time for it to heal up but other than that like I'm telling you guys I woke up today so motivated so I have like so much to film and I'm gonna actually film a video well I'm actually gonna film a few videos today like I'm really pushing myself to film a few videos today so that they're done and ready for you guys to watch throughout the week uh, so I'm actually gonna do a nail video for you guys because I know that I'm pretty sure things are gonna be shut down pretty soon and a lot of us love to get our nails done and guys my nails are disgusting and I haven't done them in a while and just feel like girl do your nails you know and I want to show you guys how you guys can do your nails at home on your own and make it look super professional super easy and yeah uh you don't need special equipment or anything like that super inexpensive stuff and i'm gonna link everything down in that video mm, i'm not sure if this video is gonna come out first or the nail video not sure uh but either way uh, i want to show you guys how to easily do your nails at home inexpensively and it could be a, you know a common practice for you guys after that hopefully especially with covid cases rising again uh yeah so i really can't wait to show you guys that video and show you guys how i'm gonna do my nails oh and i also i also want to take out my fall stuff today like i'm telling you guys i woke up so good today i think it's all of you guys positive energy and like thank you guys so much i love you guys so so freaking much love you i hope that you guys are feeling this energy that i'm trying to project to you guys you guys do so much for me and i like can't appreciate you guys enough but like i literally want to take out my my fall box and like start decorating a little bit around the house uh and do that and start lighting up some fall candles and just get that oh, guys fall is my favorite season let me know if it's your favorite season too just like the sound of the crunching of the leaves and like the leaves blowing and the fact that it's not too hot and not too cold i just love that so much it just brings such i just love it just love the energy and everything about it so that's also the plan today and i'm also gonna film a she and haul video which i have been pulling to, to the side for so freaking long and i feel like girl girl just do it just freaking do it right so that's what i'm gonna do today as well but first i'm gonna go ahead and um and i already wrote down everything on my planner right here so i do not forget and look <laughs> toby literally doesn't leave my side at all guys super clingy with me lately which is like not a bad thing i feel like i've i've really needed that and i feel like he probably feels my energy and he probably feels that I've needed someone close lately just to uplift me I don't know and a lot of you guys agreed to, with me on my last or, or one of my prior videos that animals like help you out emotionally like a lot and lately he's been like super clinging on me like super super clinging like, he won't leave my side if I leave the room he will go with me anywhere if I'm if I go to the bathroom like he will wait outside um but I love him so much I appreciate him I can't imagine being without him by the way yesterday I also started taking my vitamin D and my vitamin C so I just went ahead and took those as well so perhaps this also has a lot to do with boosting my immune system. I was doing good for a while being consistent with both of these and um, kind of fell off, you know? You, you, you kind of fell off. And I even bought a little pill organizer thing to carry inside my purse, which I have to like go ahead and fill up. So then that way, you know, I'm consistently on it. And I was doing a really good job, especially with my vitamin D because I had gone to the doctor and they ran tests for everything. Everything came back normal, like super normal, healthy big girl uh except my vitamin d was extremely extremely low so they prescribed me the was it the fifty thousand units for 
I think it was like for six weeks or something like that. I can't remember, four weeks maybe, I can't remember. But then I was supposed to be on, you know, being consistent with taking one of these every day and I fell off. I was doing good and then I fell off. I'm doing my makeup right now and I'm gonna do my hair as well. But something that I've had on my mind is I feel like I've been getting so sick ever since having issues at work. And that could be a possibility, like stress has been decreasing my, attacking my immune system, making me weaker. And you know what? Uh, somebody did say in the comments in a prior video to get a bracelet with like the eyes and el ojo. It's something that I grew up like knowing from my family. Um, my mom used to have like well, when I was a, a little kid, I used to, when she used to put me like the gold chains, she used to always have a little eye on there. And then also the ring, but I haven't, like, I don't know what happened to my jewelry from adolescence. But I definitely am going to buy un ojo, like some piece of jewelry, whether it's a necklace or a ring or a bracelet, and just carry it on me or put it on my ankle and just leave it there where nobody could see it. Then that way, si me hacen ojo, if somebody tries to like, do evil upon me like it'll kind of like absorb it into the eye and then it'll, it'll fall off because it's so technically was supposed to happen get one for Valerie too now that she's starting school and stuff but yeah it's like people's negativity could really make you sick and I don't know if it's a Hispanic thing but it's the eye bracelets and stuff like usually all the negativity will be absorbed into the eye and then it'll fall off once it's like you know, I don't know, something like that. I'm pretty sure somebody in the comments down below will give a better explanation of how that works. But, like, thank you so much for that idea and bringing that up. I'm definitely going to look into getting me un ojo for me and Valerie. I do actually have one hanging from my door room. Let me show you guys. My mom gave it to me. Okay, so my mom gave this one to me a while back ago and I have it outside of my bedroom doorknob. And this is what it looks like. And then it has like some right here too. Can't remember where she went. I don't know if she got this from Mexico or from Egypt. I can't remember where she got it from. But she brought it back for me and literally have it outside of my bedroom door. But I do need to carry one on me physically. So yeah. This is the makeup look. I used the Powerpuff Girls palette that I just got from Colourpop Cosmetics and popped on some lashes, a little bit of a gloss, and you know, just a cute little makeup look. I did curl my hair, but my hair is really short and my curling iron is thick, so it kind of just gave me, it seems like it just gave me like some waves, and so I went ahead and tucked in my hair both sides, so I put a clip here and a clip over there. And honestly, like, I love it. I love it so much. So I'm going to go ahead and film the nail video right now. And then I'm going to film the haul, which is, like, this is a body contrast that I have on from Shein. And it's a super cute. So I will be able to show that to you guys in the video. I am officially done filming the haul. I am done filming the nail video. That's what they look like. So beautiful. I love them. Uh, so, yeah. On... I'm gonna look at my planner, see what else I got planned for today. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna decorate my place with some fall stuff. We're on a roll today, guys. We're on a roll. Oh, look at all these holiday things. Okay, I just gotta dig out all the fall stuff. Like this pumpkin. Eventually I'll go to like Home Goods or TJ Maxx and find some more things, but for the time being, I'm gonna take these little things that I already have and set them up. I'm a little shook. I thought I had more stuff, but this is all the fall stuff that I have. Okay, I'm putting this cute little silver pumpkin, glass pumpkin that I got in at Home Goods a while ago, in the centerpiece of my dining table, and also these little leaf LED lights, which are gonna need new batteries pretty soon, because as you can see, they're, the lighting is pretty low. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put it there, and Chapel's already checking it out, like, what is this? out these two fall candles that I got last year that are still a little bit left over so I'm gonna turn those on tonight okay my whole video just went up so now I have to edit my nail one and yeah that'll be done working for the day let me tell you let me put you guys on these lashes okay these lashes are from Amazon and they literally come in a pack of 20 all right, I'm gonna show you guys the brand so you guys can look them up. Okay, this is the brand and this is how they come. They're from Amazon, literally 20 pairs 
You guys want to know how much I paid for these? They were $12.99, okay? $13, and you get all of these lashes, and they're amazing. Like, they're beautiful, and they look beautiful. Go hop on these guys. That's the brand. Yep, on Amazon. I've been watching this girl, Jesse Imperfections. I absolutely love and adore her. Like her voice is just so calm and soothing and like I'm so invested in her life. Like I adore her so much. I, so I love watching her. I'm gonna look at my, oh tomorrow I have to schedule Valerie a physical exam with the doctors for school. And that should be fun. Boring life. Welcome to what is it? Shirley's Rule. Oh. Dinner is here, guys. And yeah, I did go out of my way and order some McDonald's, which I will uh, have to be digging out of my tooth later on. But you know what? Your girl is feeling better. Let the nutrition come in. <laughs> Don't judge me. Here's what I got, guys a quarter pounder, some fries, some chicken nuggets, and a blue raspberry drink. And Dr. Pepper. And of course, gotta have the barbecue tang. A little bit of honey mustard. Just woke up. And update, I feel so much better. So much better. I am right now going through my planner and just seeing what I have planned for today. I do have to fill out Valerie's lunch form and make her a doctor appointment for her physical. And then um, I also have a phone call with HR sometime later this afternoon about this whole mess at work this whole situation at work with you know the bullying and the harassing i'm still waiting on my strep results they haven't came in so hopefully they'll come in today but at this point i'm already recovering from strep i haven't done a look like this in a long time and i kind of like butched up i kind of just went like that with my nails but um i haven't gave myself a little bangs like this since like high school but I've been seeing it trendy, like it's actually trendy again to have your bangs split like this uh, lately. So we did this and then I came up with like a little bun up here. Um, but this is the look today. This is the vibe. I did so much and it's only let's see, 9 o'clock in the morning. But I went ahead and I did my bed. I wrote in my journal, so I did a, some manifestation today. I booked Valerie's appointment. Um, I did my makeup. I went over my planner and I filled in anything that I am going to do or will be doing or have already done. I edited two videos. One went up yesterday. I have one that's going to go up. Thursday. I'm not sure when you guys are gonna watch this. I don't know the order of the videos, but whatever order it is, like, I'm just so like proud of myself. Um, so I'm trying to like keep this high vibrancy consistent and just like keep it there because I just love this feeling, you know, of being in control of my feelings. And I know that it has a lot to do with being off of work lately. Um, so anybody who's vibrating, vibrating low hasn't like taken my vibration low as well. So I think work makes me sick because of the environment I've been in lately. And being home has been so good. And um, hopefully when I go back to work on Friday, you know, I wrote about it in my journal that everybody's going to be nice to me and the harassment's going to stop. I wrote about it and it's going to happen. It's going to happen, okay? I'm writing about it and I'm going to keep writing about it until it happens. And I truly believe in the law of attraction and I feel like I need to start practicing that more instead of focusing on all the negativity that's surrounding me. And like I said, being home has been so good. I feel so good. Like, I feel so much better. I just want to keep remaining remain feeling this way because bad vibes make you sick i just like just remembering when i was like in such a low point in my life with like my parents and myself like our relationship and everything surrounding me at that time and 
going to sleep afraid because I would constantly have sleep paralysis and I would dream dark dreams, demonic dreams and it I feel like evil takes over your body when you're in a very vulnerable place and I hate being in that place because it I feel like I open myself to all this evil because I'm so weak if that makes sense so I feel like I've felt so weak lately because I've been surrounded by so much evil that I've let evil like I've welcomed evil into me because I've been so weak I don't know if that makes sense but that's just how it's been in the past and like how it's been lately and then being home not surrounded around evil has just been so good so I'm just trying to figure out how I can keep vibrating high in, a, in an area where everyone vibrates low um, if you guys have any tips any ideas I know that uh, some of you suggested to get a bracelet or an anklet or something that I can carry on me with a little eye uh, trust me I'm on it to find a piece of jewelry that I can wear to work but in, like not show it I'm um, just kind of like hide it under my a piece of clothing or something I, I'm just trying to figure out how I can do this at work so that I can only attract good good vibes and good energy and not become sick because my strep results came in and they came back negative. So I'm negative for COVID. I'm negative for strep. I was extreme. I woke up extremely sick on Saturday when I was supposed to work Saturday and Sunday. And I woke up feeling so good yesterday, which is like my days off. <laughs> you know, like I feel so good right now. My days off. So it's like, ah. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Like, let make it make sense, you know? My throat feels so much better today. My energy is just, uh, like, on a high level. And I don't know, guys. Like, I don't know what else to connect it with. I'm not out kissing boys or anything like that. I haven't exposed myself to anybody. Um, I don't go out like that. So, like, how am I, how am I becoming sick, right? Right? I mean, I'm pretty sure that, that hope maybe there was like a virus, but my way of connecting it is my work, my job, the people at my job are making me sick. Going to work and still smiling and being polite and kind is great, but inside I'm dying. I just want to go to work, be polite, kind, smile, and still feel super good. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to light up this Palo Santo. And uh, the, what it does, aromatic incense has been used for centuries by the Inca and other indigenous people as a means of clearing negative energy from spaces and one's own aura. Uh, the high vibrations of this incense yield a sense of well-being and positivity. The, these little power packs of Palo Santo provide 15 minutes of burn time, great for large spaces or when you just can't get enough palo. So I got this at this like store at the mall a while ago and it says third eye wood and I just have one piece left and I feel like it's just meant for me. Um, I have the sage that I'm also going to burn and walk around my apartment with and then I have this other piece of Palo Santo that was given to me by um, a fellow uh, follower on Instagram um, when she came by one time for me to do her nails like we became super good friends so I still have that so I'm gonna go ahead and light that up and just you know give that to my living space oh let me show you guys my outfit by the way so I've been having this like little jumper piece I think it's from Fashion Nova I got it a while ago okay I got it a while ago but I've never used it I've literally never brought it out so you know what like I just feel good I feel so good and you know this makes me feel good and it's a super cute like I love it and I don't know why I haven't brought it out earlier to use but it's it is such a cute little little piece you have to open up your windows or your door to let out all the negativity so just did that.
I'm gonna leave it inside of my room for a few minutes. I'm gonna walk, I'm just gonna put it in each room. My Palo Santo is done burning, but I had to close on my windows right now. It's been a while since it's been done burning, but I had to close on my windows right now because there's like a crazy storm coming and the wind was blowing like crazy. So I had to close all of my windows, but I'm watching this video right now. Um, it's called Prosperity, Wealth, and Money Attraction Affirmations. And I'm gonna link it down below for you guys if I could find it again. I should be able to find it. It's right here. Uh, but it's so, I don't know. I love it. In case you guys thought I was kidding, he literally follows me everywhere I go. But we love him. Oh, little belly rubs. He loves belly rubs. All right, my loves. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. I feel like we already have a solid 30 minutes or more, which is great. But um, I'm actually going to get started on another video today. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed because I'm going to be bringing out some more awesome content. And feel free to leave any ideas or suggestions that you guys have that you want me to film or <clears throat> do a haul on or just whatever you think you would be interested uh, to see me film in the comments down below but yeah guys thank you so much for watching and being my supporter and being here with me love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye